is over. I'm never quite sure to what extent the players enjoy that part of it, but right now, everybody's standing, looking at the tricolour for our own of Ian. set to go then for the 29th championship meeting of these counties Clare have the better record with 15 wins against nine for Waterford Clare won the toss they're opting to play from the town end in the first half now will they win the match the big question place in the monster final at stake the referee Brian Gavin from Offaly we're looking for switches and changes immediately that will probably be made and I see Fergal Lynch going into full forward straight away for Clare, Dan Shanahan going in full forward for Waterford. A little bit of jostling here and there. Morris Shanahan's gone out onto the 40. Match is underway, it'll settle down in a moment. And straight off, Sean Collins. Blocked down brilliantly by Jamie Nagel. Getting into the thick of the action from the outset. Yeah, Dan, Dan Shanahan gone in full forward. Um, Morris, his brother, out at centre half forward, and Kevin Moran on the wing. and. See, Stephen Malumphy is in the corner, but he looks like he's going to play out around the middle of the field as well. Very often plays as a third midfield player, Malumphy. He's got a great engine, is well able to get in there, get the scores as well. He's got 3.13 in championship matches up to now. Line ball coming up, it's going to be taken by Nicky O'Connell, one of the Clonlara players, 20 years of age. They had a great championship run in Clare, of course, won the title two years ago. Great cut. Flying in there, but into the side netting, and the first wide of the match. Well, he hit it brilliantly, but uh, they weren't able to make anything of that, what should have been their first attack. In the end, it's something of a waste. Puck out, and Waterford go short. Out here to Noel Connors, who switched to right corner back, picking up Colin Ryan. Dropping it in there into the half back line. Asking for a response. It's out to Malumphy and Malumphy strikes and Malumphy puts it over the bar. Opening score of the match to Waterford and their captain Stephen Malumphy. Yeah, great score there. Ger uh, Stephen Malumphy breaks onto it and off his left side. Lovely score and settle him down. So it's a half forward line which reads Kevin Moran, Morris Shanahan in the middle and Malumphy over there on the left right now. Puck out for Clare for Dowell Tui, young man from Crusheen. Probably remembered for the Munster under 21 final of 08 when he stepped outside the small square taking a, a puck out. And Clare ended up losing the match in very dramatic circumstances to Tipperary. Tony Brown here now. Little hand pass back towards the brick. Not a good clearance, only as far as Pat Donnellan. Whipped in and he's put it right of the target again. And a second wide for Clare. Well, we were talking about the breeze here, Michael, just before the game. It's a swirling breeze. Looking at the little flags down near the side of the ground would seem to indicate that it's backing Clare for the first 35 minutes. But uh, maybe that's uh, something you might dispute. <laughs> I'm not sure. It seems to be swirling down there. Um, it's very blustery. But going by the first goal from Stephen Malumphy, he, you know, he only strolled it over the bars. Played in here towards Dan. Dan Shanahan hand passing it back. Foley looking to set up another scoring opportunity. Once more, Dan Shanahan miss hit it, under hit it. Double to his clearance. It's a good one away to the far wing. Conlon will be very much the man they will look to time and again on the 40. Comes back out towards Shane O'Sullivan. Blocked out there by Dermot McMahon. Helped by Brendan Bogler. Back once again by Brian O'Connell. 
Claire's captain up towards Conlon. Runs on in here towards Colin Ryan. And they struggle to make any kind of inroads on that half back line. And it's Noel Connors who emerges with possession. Clever use of it. Richie Foley now stepping away from the challenge of Jonathan Clancy. Big one down towards Dan Shannon. And it reaches the man near him, John Milan, instead. Milan, such a star so often in the past. And what a score! Brilliant! A couple of attacks now, very useful attacks by Waterford, and they've made much the better start. Yeah, it's a brilliant score from Milan. You know, we've seen it so often over his left shoulder, and he's, he's almost impossible to hook, you know. Took plenty of steps, all right, to make the room for himself. Well, he got his 100th point in Championship Hurling in Croke Park last August to go with the uh, 12 goals he scored as well. Donald Tui's puck out. Up as far as Sean Collins. Collins takes off. Two men after him. Jamie Nagel gets it away. Beyond Malumphy. Nine ball to Clare. Clare need a score just to ease them into the match. Had a couple of wides, one of them from the line ball over there earlier on. And this time it's going to be Pat Vahan who will take it for Gerald Lachlan's team, the man they call the Sparrow. A name he picked up when he was a schoolboy in Clare. Vaughan, another very good cut up this time. Over towards Fergal Lynch. Back in the championship team, goes by three men. In the end, back helping out is Jamie Nagel. Into the middle towards Richie Foley. Claire again. Once more, it's Derek Holan. And this time, Derek Holan dropped the uh, Hurley. Free against him. And the referee blew immediately. So a free out for Waterford. Good to see Tony Brown back in the championship action once again. Very popular Mount Sion player. Former hurler of the year, of course, as well. Clinton Hennessy taking this. Big one down towards Milan. Made a good run across there. Pursued by Connor Cooney. And it goes off the Waterford man. Line ball to Clare. Yeah, there's good, very good movement in the Waterford forward line. Uh, Jar off the ball, a lot, lot of good running. Milan there came across the field, and you know, clear any ball they're getting, they're hitting it very high at the moment. They're just lobbing it in. Um, you know, they'll, they'll have to put more direction onto the ball that they're playing into their inside line. Well, it's the beginning of the third championship that he's been involved in with Waterford. Got them to the 2008 final, of course. You know, Justin McCarthy's last match was in Limerick. Waterford against Clare, you might remember. This time it drops short and Michael Brick Walsh from Strad Valley trying to get it away. In there is Derek Holan, the big strong UCC student. Having a go, it's going to drop short in towards Fergal Lynch. Beyond the fullback as well, who's Liam Lawler. It's a big test for Liam Lawler this afternoon, isn't it? Because uh, they've tried out various players. Mark O'Brien was being tried out during the league as well. But at least they're going for a, a new man, hoping that he will build a career for himself. Well, that's it, Chad. They've been chopping and changing. You know, they really need to settle on somebody now and, and leave him there, you know, and give him a bit of experience. But again, a, you know, a, a, just a big lob of a ball in there from Derek Hone. They need to be much, put much more direction on the ball into the inside line. That's a great catch by Shane O'Sullivan. Huge catch down towards Dan Shanahan. Trying to get his body between ball and the opponent who's coming from behind, Kian Dillon. Out over the sideline. And it's going to be a line ball. Line ball to Clare. And as you say, there's lots of enterprise and movement among the Waterford forwards. And that was a great catch by the midfielder from Bally Gunner. Pat Donnellan this time from O'Callaghan's Mills. Now 24 years of age. Blustery afternoon, lots of rain here today. The streets, as they say in Irish, Plodaha. Plodaha with water. And this time it's a, an enterprising move involving Sean Collins. Collins striking. They need a point. He gets it. Good score. At last, a point for Clare coming in the, in the uh, seventh, eighth minute. Yeah, lovely ball in there from John Conlon. First low ball we've seen. And Sean Collins looks to be very pacey out in that wing and shortened up the grip and a lovely point. Well, that's exactly what they required after two or three poor attempts. 
short puck out again. They've done it once more, Waterford. Out to Noel Connors. They've been watching Cork against Tipperary, I think. Down at the other end, Malumphy didn't make any headway with that. And it's whipped away out of danger. Up into the centre here, cut out by Tony.